We're looking at two different aspects. One is the city disciplinary process. That's an internal matter for the city. The other is any potential criminal charges review by the Allegheny County DA, which awaits information from the medical examiner. Mayor Peduto had pledged to start any disciplinary process for the officers in the Jim Rogers case before he left office. Rogers is the man who died one day after being tasered multiple times by Pittsburgh police. The mayor now confirms to Pittsburgh's Action News 4. I, I can tell you that we did begin the process of discipline. We are seeking justice. We have done so throughout and we will continue so to the very last day. The medical examiner's office has said the cause and manner of Roger's death is pending while it awaits test results. Now, forensic pathologist Dr. Cyril Weck tells Pittsburgh's Action News 4 he believes test results would be long finished by now, two and a half months after Roger's death. Far enough time uh, for those test results to have been completed. The autopsy was performed, the microscopic examination of tissues has been done. Information has been obtained by the medical examiner's office uh, from the uh, investigation of the police. DA Zapala's office has said it's awaiting evidence from the medical examiner before deciding whether to file criminal charges against any officers. Uh, everybody really is waiting for Zapala to make up his mind. Does he want to proceed with any charges against the cop? Does he want to not proceed? Uh, that's what this case is all about at this point, Bob. Now the DA's office is declining to respond to Weck's remarks. Meanwhile, the medical examiner's office has emailed us a statement indicating that it's not consulted with Dr. Weck on the case and saying that it's conducting a thorough review with attention to detail, what they describe as a focus on a complete and thorough review of the evidence and the testing information. Reporting live downtown, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Bob.